Visualizing your desired reality from all dimensions of the mind. Posted on January 25th, 2012. When you have achieved some stability in your being by allowing the momentum of negativity in the mind to reduce in intensity, mostly through relaxed awareness, you can start working more easily with dissolving specific resistances you have with respect to your desired realities. As you let go of identification with negativity, with time, you can clearly understand your true desires receiving it out from the false desires that you thought you needed out of some negative, lackful thinking. This is what clear-mindedness is all about. To be clear-minded is essential to allowing desires to take shape swiftly because it means you are no longer conflicted within yourself or contradicting yourself out of some deluded thinking. It's common for a brain to desire something that the heart doesn't want for itself. The brain does this out of some limited negative conditioning or perceptions it gathers from its life experience. This is what I would call a false desire. The more clear-minded you are, the less energy you waste focusing on false desires, which are conflicted within and hence are not harmonious with your nature anyway. Once you have a clear-mindedness about your desire, you can spend more time envisioning your desired reality. It's very natural for the brain to do so. You must understand that visualizing your desired reality has nothing to do with creating some detailed, beautiful image in your brain. Not all brains are even capable of working with images so well. Some brains are more auditory or tactile. And holding it, or some forced technique like that, Some techniques are unnecessary and amount to nothing more than straining your brain's faculties. Visualizing your desired reality in its true sense is about working through the consequences or side effects of living that reality. Your brain already has a picture of what it wants, so it makes no sense to keep concentrating on that picture alone. What's required is to allow yourself to go deeper into that reality by envisioning its consequences from all dimensions of your mind. Broaden your understanding of your desired reality. Your mind has six dimensions in it. Love, joy, fear, hatred, boredom, and sexuality. But most of us try to envision our desired reality purely from the dimension of joy or love alone, or maybe sexuality but rarely from the dimensions of fear, hatred, and boredom. This is the reason why most of us have little idea about the amount of resistances lying within us towards our desired reality. You're trying to picture your desired reality purely as being joyful or loving, when in truth, your mind naturally will have to inhabit that reality in all its six dimensions. When you don't picture your desired reality from the other dimensions of the mind, What you end up with is an incomplete vision, which means you will not be aware of the resistances seated within you, which are unconsciously inhibiting the manifestation of this reality. To take an example, let's say you want to manifest a harmonious living condition where you have a good house to live in. For a while, it's common to simply visualize the desired reality of a nice house and just see yourself being joyful in that reality. But if you restrict your visualization to this dimension of joy alone, you never get the whole picture. In reality, when you do manifest the house, you will be joyful, but there will also be other dimensions playing out like boredom, fear, and hatred in several ways. For example, in this new house, you can fear security. You may hate maintaining it, and you would feel bored once you're done with all the arrangements. This is how your desired reality will look realistically when it manifests. It won't just be a place where you're hopping with joy all day long. No reality is ever going to have only one dimension of your mind active. It's always going to manifest aspects of all the dimensions. The mind shies away from exploring the low vibrations. The problem is that an unconscious mind is never willing to explore dimensions of fear, hatred, or boredom to any large extent. It's immediately scared of the low states and always tries to visualize purely on the high states alone. 
but any physical reality is a mix of low states and high states, light and dark, by its very nature, and none of this is negative if you're not opposing it with your fear. As I mentioned in the post, wholeness and physical life, the way I define negativity is your resistance to certain dimensions in the mind. The mind by itself is just being natural when it produces fear, hatred, or boredom. But your resistances to, to, to them creates negativity in your being. Of course, negativity can also come in when you're imbalanced or lost in certain dimensions in the mind. Consciously, you can bring a balance to all the dimensions by allowing them full expression in the space of wisdom of your awareness. This is the reason why you need to have some stability in your being to truly visualize your desired realities. In the absence of an inner stability, you will feel overwhelmed about touching the dimensions of fear, hatred, or boredom, and will keep trying to cling to a narrow view of your desired reality, purely from the dimension of joy or love. When you have stability in your being, you can visualize your desired reality in a much deeper way, and you will be quite astounded initially to see the amount of resistance which is present in your mind towards its consequences. When you bring a realistic view of the things you may hate or find boring or fearful in your desired reality, the resistances within start showing up thick and fast. This is a good thing because now they're out in the open and hence they can be dissolved in the light of your awareness. Exploring the Consequences of a Desired Reality When you start visualizing your desired reality at a greater depth, you would unearth several consequences that your mind may have fears about. For example, the mind is never very comfortable with change and wants to cling to the familiar, and this is the first fear that you will encounter. After that, there would be several practical consequences that you will need to encounter in your new reality which the mind may not feel ready for. The more you allow yourself to keep observing the fears of the mind, the more they dissolve in force. But first, it's required to get these fears in the open so that you are no longer in denial by suppressing them. Also, the more awareness you bring to your desired reality, the more fears you may unearth within you towards the reality, some very subtle, some very strong. This is how you move into the details of your desired reality. It's not just an exercise of holding a beautiful picture in the mind. It's a very involving process of unearthing all your deep resistances to the reality and then dissolving them in the light of fearless awareness. You can read the post, Positive Thinking versus Fearless Awareness, for more insight on how to bring an open awareness to your resistances to allow their dissolution. You must understand that it can be uncomfortable initially to get a sense of your deep resistances, and it may make you feel as if you can never get over them. But in truth, it just takes a few weeks of deep awareness of these resistances to cause a weakening of their force. As they weaken, you will start seeing positive evidences coming in which help your resistances weaken even, even further until they no longer have an influence on your vibration. At this point, you become relatively resistance-free and thus allow for a swift manifestation of your desired reality. Manifesting your desired realities is an expression of your potential as a creator that you are, since you are an extension of life energy, and it's a movement towards inner growth, maturity, and expansion. The only reason why a lot of people find it difficult to be receptive of their desired manifestations is because they are not aligned with it from all dimensions of their mind.